the revenue in some way, then of course they know that and they should have a system set up, a system of control set up in order to deal with whatever risk is involved for that particular industry. We want to understand the risk. We want to ask the business, how do you deal with this risk and see if they are implementing whatever controls and whatever functions they have in place to deal with that, uh, with that particular risk for that particular type of business entity. Using this information, the auditor assesses the level of risk of material misstatement in the financial statement accounts. So we're going to use this information, of course, to assess the level of risk uh, in the financial statements of material misstatement, because, of course, that's our goal when we make the audit is to see whether or not or give an opinion if there's material misstatement. That's what we're going to be gathering evidence for, as detectives would. And part of that evidence, pro evidence gathering process in the front side of things is to assess the business risk and put that in as part of our plan. Establish overall materiality. So we're getting back to this idea of materiality. Now note, again, in the planning process, we got to think of materiality because that means that the type of decision that could lead people that are reading or looking at the, at the financial statements to uh, affect their decision. So a, a, a problem with the financial statement that could be large enough that a reasonable person may uh, have their opinion affected if that is an, if there's an error related to it of that 